ladies and gentlemen, here we are at Studio 31 at CBS Television City, where the new Red Skelton Show, presented by Pet Evaporated Milk and Instant Pet Non-Fat Dry Milk, is about to begin. These are the ladies and gentlemen of our studio audience. Here is the celebrated composer-conductor, Mr. David Rose. And his orchestra. One of the nation's greatest dancing groups, our own Red Ants. And here's our famous guest star of the evening, Mr. George Rapp. He's so happy to be here, he's flipping. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here is the star of our show, Red Skelton. Thank you very much, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This being the first of our new series, they've asked me to wear evening clothes. <laughs> they also wanted me to wear one of those little nightcaps, but the olive kept falling out of the glass. <laughs> yeah. No, we get this looks silly, huh? <laughs> My mother wanted me to be a fireman and rescue girls in flimsy nightgowns. <laughs> now, look silly in this. Can you imagine how I look in a flimsy nightgown? Huh? <laughs> well, you'll find out why I'm in pajamas all in due time. But first, here's a message from our wonderful sponsors, the Pet Milk Company. I've got to go to bed. Does your family like grilled cheese sandwiches? Well, they'll like these baked cheese sandwiches even better. And so will you. They're so good and so easy. Made with double-rich pet evaporated milk. They're richer, tastier. And here's why. You mix pet milk with beaten egg and salt. Then dip one side of bread slice into this rich mixture. Now put the bread, milk side down, on a greased pan and top with slices of cheese. Spread with chili sauce or mustard. Put another slice of bread, milk side up, on top. In about 10 minutes baking time, you'll have golden brown mouth-melting baked cheese sandwiches guaranteed to make a hit with your whole family. Want the recipe? It's in Mary Lee Taylor's new pet milk cookbook, Good Food Sure to Please. To get your free copy, just send a postcard with your name and address and the words Good Food to Pet Milk Company, Box 888, St. Louis 1, Missouri. Pet Milk Company, Box 888, St. Louis 1, Missouri. the way, this robe was made by my own little wife, Georgia. And if anybody says it's ridiculous, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't make me do it. It's just that I'm proud. Good morning, Mr. Skelton. Oh, good morning, good morning, good morning. You and that sauerkraut juice again. My word, it's horribly stuffy in here. Yeah. Yes, I, I think someone ought to open a window. Yes. Yeah, I think so, too. But like... That's so hot in here last night. I mm. thought I'd have to get up and take off my socks in the middle of the night. Yeah. 
Everybody ought to open that window, you Somebody know. Somebody should, definitely. All right, I can take a hit. I'll do it. <laughs> Thank you. Come on, the talk. Yeah. I think it's going to be a nice day. <laughs> Mrs. Kelly, come along. Oh, no. you, you've got to drink your sauerkraut juice tonic. I can't stand yes, that sauerkraut you've juice. You've got to drink it at doctor's orders. Now, listen, Mr. Skelton, sir, if you don't drink this juice, then you can't have your hot chocolate with that delicious, wholesome pet milk for breakfast. He's going to be around here a long time. <laughs> All right, like a good boy, down the hatch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's much better now. Not, 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 not half bad, was it? Yeah, no, it was all bad. <laughs> I'll straighten up your bread. But first, I... My bread? Oh. <laughs> well, I buttered it, so I'll lie there. Mr. Skelton, you ought to be ashamed of yourself what? playing with your son Richard's toys again. Well, that's a normal sort of a thing. Gee, I mean, weren't you ever a little boy? Of course not. Much too undignified. Oh. <laughs> tell me, tell me, what else of young Richard's have you smuggled into this room? Well, nothing. I got nothing else nothing. at all. Nothing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, you don't. There's nothing in here. I'm a wedgie. There's nothing in here. Come away from that door. Oh, guys. Oh, you felon. Oh, what? I said, you felon. And don't you forget it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh? Even his little chemical set. Well, I've always been interested in chemistry. You, you know that one time I tried to figure out something that would kill gophers? And, yes. and, 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 and did it kill gophers? Well, the stuff I mixed didn't exactly kill them, but it made everything smell so bad they left on their own. <laughs> Well, you interested in me? I am. Oh, I'll get the table. I'm, I'm with you. Oh, well, bring it right over here. <laughs> right here. This is lots of fun. Thank you. I'll, I'll, give I'll get the picture. I'll get, you the, get picture. the picture. Yeah. Can you get here me one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already, sir. Well, let's see. What shall we start off with? Hydrogen peroxide. Oh, splendid. Oh, that ought to do. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Phosphorus chloride. Oh, how attractive. Yeah, you wouldn't believe that. But if that wasn't written here, I wouldn't be able to say it. <laughs> This is zinc nitrate. Zinc nitrate. Zinc nitrate. You may not know this, but the nitrate is much cheaper than the day rate. <laughs> you get it? Nitrate and day rate? Yes, of course I get it. Yeah. It's very, very funny oh. enough. When I'm off duty, I'll go and have a hearty laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Well, here we are. We'll put a little of this in here. Yes. That little sulfur. That that steady, steady. Steady. Oh, boy. Oh, oh that's my life. Life. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Take it. Oh, boy. No, I don't want it. I don't want it either. You take it. I don't want it. Blow up in it. Hey, it's some sand. Miss Throw it out the window. Get a thumb. What? Let's stop behaving like children. Now, come along. Oh. You take it. Yes. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't want it. Throw up in the window. Get it out. Get it out. Oh, oh sorry. Just in time. I'd have blown the whole house up. There was a lady out there drying clothes. <laughs> What's happened? Huh? The smog cleared up, is all. <laughs> you should always remember that when anything starts foaming, the smog cleared up. <laughs> the smog cleared up. Good heavens, Mr. Skelton. Do you know what you've been and gone and done? <laughs> <laughs> No, what have I been and gone and done? <laughs> you just discovered the formula for eliminating smog. Well, basil my wrath bone. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Vassania. Good morning. Hi, Chief. Hello, oh, boys. That's what I like, respect. I'm going to see that you two boys get B-plus from your parole boards. All right, now it is. 
Gee, you know, we've been on a coast here already. Yeah. Two weeks. Yeah, no action. Yeah, no action. All the old mob is gone. Yeah, you're right. Even all my old pals, the movie gangsters, are moved into another world. To the great green pastures where all the movie gangsters go. You mean... Yeah. Television. <laughs> Here's a special bulletin, ladies and gentlemen. The Smog Commission of Los Anonymous, California, has just announced a reward of $10 million. $10 million to any person who can invent a device for eliminating smog. Hey, Chief, did you hear that? Ten million bucks. Ten million bucks. I'd sure like to stuff my piggy bank with that. Oh. Excuse me, Mr. Lasagna. Here is your breakfast. Put it there. <laughs> I'll get it, I'll get it. Hello? Yes? Just a moment. Cecil. That's for you. Hello? Yes? Oh, Reggie! How are you? It's my brother Reggie, sir. He buckles for Mr. Red Skelton. He's a butler for Red Skelton? Why, how does that bum rate a butler? Hello? Yes, Reggie? He discovered what? A cure for the smog? Does he know about the $10 million reward? Oh, he just found out about it, eh? Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, toodaloo, Reggie. Long live Stuart Granger. <laughs> Did I hear you right? Uh, yes, sir. My brother says that Mr. Skelton... I know, I know. But where's Skelton right now? Well, he's on his way to the City Hall, sir, to claim the reward. Did you hear that, boys? Yeah. We're headed for City Hall. We may be able to head him off. Okay, Chief. <laughs> and sit down and listen. Oh, listen. Thank you very much. Now, my friends, this problem of smog, it appears to me, has been greatly over-exaggerated. I feel Which that if we... Uh, the young man from Pasadena? We are the Citizens' Anti-Smog Committee. Oh, yeah. You come back in six months. Now, wait a minute. We're sick and tired of all this smog. Yeah, we yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. I just beg of you to be patient. Oh, I am. Uh, yeah. Now, as you all know, only this morning, we offered a reward of ten million dollars. Ten million dollars! Ten million dollars, yes, for anyone who could come up with a solution for smog. Now, I beg you to be patient. Somebody's sure to come up with the right answer. Well, they better. Now they smog! Now they smog! Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen of the smog could grow more. This is serious. Nobody's come up with an answer. Pardon me. I've come up with a wonderful no, idea. We have a, we're on a spot. We have only a few minutes before we can find an answer. You have? Look, I don't know if you know it or not, but I am I, a fellow that's got I just what you're looking for. Any of you any suggestions? Don't you see me standing here? Don't you see me ignoring you? 
<laughs> now, I repeat, any suggestions? I move we adjourn for a smoke. I second the motion. Moved and seconded. But, gentlemen, we have time for only one cigarette, so let's be back here in two hours. <laughs> Wait a minute. There. Well, there's an ambitious little group. And they have a smoke with him. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chairman, Mom, sir, is there anything I can do for you? Well, what do you got in mind? I mean... <laughs> Well, uh, yes. I'm looking for someone that I can tell about my formula. Oh, I see. Your name, please? Uh, no, my name's not please. It's Red Skelton. <laughs> Where were you born? In a cab. <laughs> That's a taxi cab. A what? yellow one. <laughs> I say it was yellow because it was uh, late at night and it wouldn't hit anybody. <laughs> you see, a yellow cab wouldn't hit anybody. <laughs> 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 When? Uh, when the meter hit about three dollars and a quarter. <laughs> well, I'll check about this. Thank you. Please sit down. Oh, yeah. Uh, she has to be a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> On top of old Smokey. Well, how do you do, Mr. Skelton? All covered. Oh, how do you do? I'm the new smog czar. Oh, nice to meet you. Say, well, I'm you're just the guy that I'm looking for. I have, uh... Oh, I... and this is the new smog board. Oh, it is, really? Oh, smogger's board, huh? <laughs> we understand that you came here to collect the $10,000 reward. That's exactly why I'm here. But first of all, I'd like to know what happened to that other bum that was out here. Oh, we fired him. Oh, good. Well, anyhow, I've got the new formula. You got the new formula? I've got the new formula, and I know how to get rid of the smog. But, Mr. Skelton, uh, not so fast because uh, we understand you have the invention, but we'd like to see it. Oh, well, it's not exactly an invention, you see. It's a chemical formula. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. good. Uh, but where is it? Well, come on. Where is it? Come on. Where is it? Wait a minute. I don't think you guys have anything to do with smog. Are you going to come up with that formula? I am... <laughs> I can't hit it all. <laughs> Mother... No, I won't sing. All right, then maybe this will make you sing. Hmm. You're on top of those smoke. All right, boys. Well, let's take it back to the hotel. No. I'm Come not on. saying a word. I got those guns. Those guns. Come on. I, stop it. I'm texting. Will you stop it? I've only got two things to say. What's that? Pet milk. <laughs> The more milk drinkers you have at your home, the happier you will be with Instant Pet Non-Fat Dry Milk, the new Miracle Milk product that's changing America's milk buying habits. It's wonderful for milk drinking families. First, because it's so handy. You can mix a glass or a quart of Instant Pet instantly. The directions tell you how much Instant Pet you need for the amount you want to make. Measure it out. Add water and stir with a spoon. And there you are. And the flavor is delicious. Good, cold, instant pet is so fresh tasting, you'd think it came straight from the dairy. It's wholesome, too. Has all the protein, calcium, and B vitamins of fine, fresh milk. And it's thrifty. Actually costs less than half as much as bottled milk. Get instant pet non-fat dry milk in the jar with the bright blue label at your grocer's. It's available everywhere. If he doesn't have it, he can get it for you. Can I get you anything, sir? <laughs> yeah, you can get me out of here. <laughs> Searching for the formula. I haven't got it. Come on, where's the formula? Get, get out. I got hit, Chief. Well, open his mouth, boys. He might be hiding it in a cavity. Oh. <laughs> Not in a cavity, Chief. I got it up here in my head. There's a real cavity. Yeah. <laughs> Should I get the throat, Chief? Oh, that's a real hokey Why? bit. <laughs> I'm running this show, brother. Are you going to tell us where the formula is, or do we have to get it the hard way? Nah, you get it the hard way. All right, boys, let's give him the Chinese torture. One drop of water on the head every five minutes. Louis, go and get the bottle of water. Right. And remember, Louis, 
One drop every five minutes. Oh. You can give him the first drop now. Wait a Look, boys, we're not getting anywhere. There's only one thing left. Hey, Choo Choo, come here. Well, that Choo Choo's on the right track. <laughs> choo Choo, darling? Yeah, Muggsy. This boy's got a formula. I want you to get it. Will do. Hat up, baby. <laughs> oh! Oh, do sit down. <laughs> oh, I happen to be from the Middle West. <laughs> I know what you're after. Oh, nonsense. <laughs> that too, huh? <laughs> Love men with wavy hair. <laughs> Looks like the tide just took mine out. <laughs> I really got straight hair. It's my skull that's wavy. <laughs> you want me to sit near you? Mm -hmm. Don't you want me to sit near you? No. <laughs> you really don't? No. <laughs> Come here. Remember that last guy you hypnotized? Yeah. Will do. Hat up, baby. <laughs> Isn't this a pretty compact? Yeah, a pretty compact. <laughs> Tell us the formula now? Yep. All right, what is it? Hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide. Phosphorus chloride. Phosphorus chloride. Nobody's come up with a feasible plan for eliminating smog. The citizens of Los Anonymous are getting out of hand. True, true. Well, I don't know. All right, all right, gentlemen. All right, gentlemen. I came here to take, collect the $10 million reward. What? You mean you can get rid of smog? Yes, sirree. I got it right here with me. Cecil, give me my chemistry set. All right, boys, open that up. Now we'll put a little chloride in, and a little oxide, and a little sulfur side. All right, Buster. Show me the fog. Jimmy, open the window. Dirty double crossing rat, you gave me the wrong formula. I did not. I gave you the right formula, but I left out one ingredient. What was that? Does anyone here happen to have a stale glass of sauerkraut juice? I beg your pardon. <laughs> there it is, sir. Thank you. Welcome. Pip pip cheerio. Oh, rusty dusty. <laughs> here we are. Now, hold that. Thank you. Well, <laughs> <laughs> 
public speaking, I'd like to take this opportunity of thanking each and every one of you. To... <laughs> I'd like to thank each and every one of you. We're all we have come to the town. We're being invaded by an army of mosquitoes. We've never had mosquitoes before. Where'd mosquitoes. they come from? Down hey. with mosquitoes. Who's responsible for these mosquitoes? Because... Hey, you. You and your formula. You brought a whole army of mosquitoes. Well, I'd like to see you do that again. I'd like to see you do that again. I just did it. Yeah, I had my eyes closed. I didn't see it. Welcome. Cheerio. Righto. Righto. Any more? No, sir. Get up. We got one more. Press on. One thing I want to know. What are you going to do about these mosquitoes? Yeah, what are you going to do about it, wise guy? I've got to go home now and figure out a way to bring back the smog. Oh! Red will be back in just a moment. The new Red Skelton Show is brought to you tonight by the makers of Pet Evaporated Milk and Instant Pet Non-Fat Dry Milk. Well, come along, folks, and listen to the tale of the bouncing babies on a pet milk trail. From the tie-high, yippee, 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 we're strong and sturdy, fed the pet milk way. They're sturdy and strong and happy as can be, cause the milk they get is P-E-T. From the tie-high, yippee, 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 we're strong and sturdy, fed the pet milk way. Oh, away out west where a man's a man, they mark their heifers with the pet milk brand. From the tie-high, yippee, 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 we're strong and sturdy, fed the pet milk way. Every mother dreams of a happy, healthy baby. Ask your doctor about pet milk for your baby. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. On behalf of our new sponsors, the Pet Milk Company, for allowing us to pay this little visit. We'd also like to thank our wonderful guest stars, Reggie uh, Denny and uh, the uh, <laughs> <laughs> one and only <laughs> George Raff. <laughs> And George, believe me, this is without a doubt one of the greatest honors I've ever had all the years I've been in show business working with this wonderful gentleman. And next week, our guest star... Our, ne our guest star next week is Dinah... Dinah... Fl no, Dinah Lynn. <laughs> Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks a lot. Show is a CBS television network production and originated live in Hollywood. Bob Lamont speaking.